all right boys what's going on welcome back and i don't know what is going on with these teens these days but they will do absolutely anything for a little bit of clout for a little bit of likes for a little bit of comments for a little bit of clicks man and today we're going to be taking a look at these teens doing the absolute most for a little bit of clout and as a matter of fact this might be the farthest we've ever seen a couple of teens go for some clout so a couple of days ago I was scrolling through TikTok and I came across this video right here now I'm not actually going to show you guys the video because well it's unnecessary and it's just going to get my video copyright striked for the song but I will read out the text because that's all we really need to see so it says us remembering we found a dead body this morning and then the video kind of just pans out and plays the song that a lot of people use on TikTok. If you use TikTok, you probably know what I'm talking about. And as a matter of fact, if you have TikTok, you can still find this video. I don't know why it hasn't been taken down yet, but the original video is still up on TikTok. So I had came across that original video a couple of days ago and as you could probably guess i didn't really think very much of it a lot of people say a lot of crazy things on tiktok in order to get some views so i kind of just let the video go as a matter of fact i completely forgot about the video it wasn't even in my head at all but yesterday i went into the bathroom to go sit down and take a dump and i opened up tiktok and when i opened up tiktok there was another video duet the original video showing me this article right here the title of the article says two San Antonio teens accused of stealing necklace off dead body then posting video to social media detectives say now of course that doesn't automatically mean that these are the same girls that they're talking about in the article but let's go ahead and read this article and see exactly what happened a pair of teenagers from from Texas were arrested after a snapchat video allegedly showed them stealing a necklace from a dead man. Bethany Martin 17 and a 16 year old whose identity was not revealed allegedly came across the body of a 25 year old male hanging from railings. The teens allegedly found the body on July 26 at around 8 38 a.m. at the intersection of Sunday Song and Charismatic just outside of San Antonio, Texas. If you guys live in San Antonio, you might know where that's at. Officers arrived at the scene and found the deceased hanging via an article of clothing from the railing of a drainage ditch. Local news site KSAT reported the man had discoloration throughout his body. So obviously they didn't say anything about this in their original TikTok video. All their TikTok video said was they found a dead body this morning, but a Apparently, they took a Snapchat video of them stealing a necklace off of a dead body hanging from railings. A report from the BCSO claimed the pair indicated they were going to a nearby gas station when they thought they saw something out of the ordinary, so decided to investigate further. Rather than calling the authorities immediately, the pair called their friend who arrived at the scene and dialed 911. Deputies determined there was no foul play involved in the death and ruled it as a suicide. The following day, officers were made aware of a video circulating on social media, which appeared to show the teens with the body before officers arrived on the scene. It was reported the footage was sent to officers anonymously. So not only did they come up on a dead body, they then decided to take a Snapchat video of them stealing the necklace off the dead body and then instead of calling the police they decided they would much rather just call their friend to come pick them up who then decided to call the police which was a great idea because if they didn't call the police they would probably be in even more trouble right now information from bcso indicated one clip allegedly showed martin removing a necklace from around the deceased neck the statement claimed the two girls admitted to taking the necklace and the charm from the dead man's neck the 
pair claimed they ditched the necklace but kept the charm, the statement continued. Investigators attempted to locate the discarded necklace searching in the nearby grassy area the girls say they dumped it. Despite the best efforts of the authorities, the jewelry could not be found. The site claimed the 16-year-old told deputies she recorded the incident on Snapchat and put the medallion on her own gold necklace because she thought it matched her fashion style. The younger teen later returned the medallion to officers, which was then handed to the man's next of kin. The pair were placed into custody on July 27th, and both teenagers were charged with theft of a human corpse or grave, with Martin's bond set at $2,000. KSAT reported that she has since been released from jail. So, from what it sounds like, the 17-year-old is technically out right now on bail, and welcome to the club because your boy is technically out on bail as well. If you guys haven't seen that video, I would definitely check it out. It's called I Went to Jail. Pretty good video. But off topic, the 17 year old is out on bond right now on a $2,000 bond, which is barely more than what mine was, which is absolutely insane. But it sounds like to me, the 16 year old is still in juvenile hall because juveniles can't get bailed out. Adults can and the 17 year old got charged as an adult but it sounds like to me that 16 year old is stuck in juvenile until they figure out what she's gonna get charged with and how long she's gonna be in there. More than likely though because she's a juvenile and if this is her first charge nothing is gonna happen to her besides probably some probation. Here is the visual evidence the mugshot of the 17 year old and if you look at this side by side comparison with the screenshot of the TikTok video that most definitely looks like her. As you can obviously see, she is much happier in that TikTok clip than she is in that mugshot. I'll never fully understand why people do this. I mean, it was pretty obvious they were looking for some clout. If they just wanted to take the necklace and record the video for proof that they were just taking the necklace and not doing anything to the body, they could have done that, but they posted that Snapchat video of them taking the necklace and I believe they also posted a picture of them posing next to the body as well as posting a TikTok about it later on that day. So it was very clear to me that yeah they randomly came across the body but the things that they did with the body afterwards were very very clearly in order to get some clout and they got some clout but I don't think it was the clout they were looking for. These hoes are thirsty for that clout man and they will do absolutely anything it takes in order to get a few clicks. With that being said that is actually where I'm going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section, help your boy get pushed deeper into people's recommended. I'm going to read out my members really quickly and I'm going to get out of here. So we have the usual Emmanuel, Quincy J, Charles Ware, and that archive guy as usual. I appreciate you guys so insanely much. And you four, you four have been here, been members since I started my members. And truly, I will never forget you for that. So thank you so insanely much, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.